am so excited. We have little baby mangrove snakes again. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. How is the start of your day? I think it's gonna be an amazing day here, but I am gonna start it with a little bit of a downer, but don't you worry, the rest of the vlog is gonna be really fun, but this is kind of a bummer. I was absolutely fun about it. Remember my scorpion that had the baby? Well, look at her now. There might be something that you see that's missing, and of course, what's missing is her baby. That's right, I told you when she had eight or 10 babies, she had eaten all but one of them, and she had one that looked perfect on her back, and Bruce and Andrea had actually mentioned that the other ones might have been deformed, and that's why she ate them. She ended up having the one that looked perfect on her back for like a week, and then I came in, and guess what? She had eaten it. I was so bummed. We looked through the entire cage just thinking, is there any chance that it crawled off on its own? But nope, unfortunately she ate her baby. I am so bummed. Why did you eat your baby, Scorpion? Regardless, that's the only bad news of the day. Everything else is gonna be awesome. I really don't show Samboas nearly enough love. Of course, this is an aneurythristic Kenyan Samboa. I just think that they're incredible. And you know, I've been working with Kenyan Samboas since I was like 17 years old, including rough scales and a few of the other species of Samboas as well. I just think they're absolutely incredible. They're a little bit weird. They're a little bit unusual. And that's what makes them so awesome. It's pretty exciting that we just put our leopard geckos down and been done hatching for a while, and we've got some more geckos hatching. Yeah, the first geckos of the year. Oh my gosh, these are the first geckos. And which yeah. ones are these? These, these are, are just... the cave geckos, the Chinese cave these geckos. These are the Chinese cave geckos. Look at how cute they are. Oh my gosh, so there's what, four more eggs? Or... Yep, four more eggs in oh there. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. That is so cute. Yeah. They're so cute. Look at these little monkeys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Those hibernate or do they stay up? Well, I thought we were going to hibernate them, but they just started breeding, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, these are the ones I remember. We were going to hibernate and then they just started laying eggs. So these are those kind of surprise eggs we had a while ago, so awesome. And uh, now we have babies. Just so you guys get an idea, these are actually the yearlings, or how old are these ones? Actually, these are probably the last ones that hatch, so they're okay. maybe like seven months old. Seven months old, but still, they are definitely small, huh? Oh yeah. they. These ones are not growing that fast. This oh one is God. like the nicest looking one. Oh my it's got God, so it's much so bright orange on beautiful. It. That thing is ridiculous. It's crazy. But uh, but yeah, definitely these are a smaller gecko. They don't get quite as big as leopard geckos. Definitely really cool little dudes. We're actually open later on tonight at the Reptarium, so I'm gonna go ahead and put salt and pepper out, and you guys are probably gonna get really sick and bored of me talking about salt and pepper because I am completely obsessed, in particular with salt. I love this animal so much, it is absolutely ridiculous. But that doesn't mean that I'm not just as obsessed obsessed with pepper because I certainly am. This animal is ridiculous as well. It's definitely not as tame and kind of cuddly as salt is, but still nonetheless, it is ridiculous and everybody that comes and sees it absolutely loves pepper. And it's like I've said, honestly, anyone that's kind of worked with it seems to first love pepper and then after a while they seem to love salt. So salt just has such a great personality, but that's okay, pepper. We still love you. Here's that big female, beautiful orange Kenyan Sambo that had 20 babies just about a week ago. She's back on food she'll be plumped up in no time and hey another six months or so from now we'll have a male back in with her and hopefully next year she'll have another beautiful litter hello RJ please hello buddy <laughs> he's like daddy don't take me out I'm just trying to get some basking Whoop! Oh, and look at <laughs> he went right in <laughs> I feel bad now. Oh, RJ, I'm sorry, buddy. I just walking by over here and this gecko caught my eye. Oh my God, this is actually a bold bell. But look at the carrot tail on that thing. Ooh, doggy, there is some amazing geckos here. There's always those animals that I'm like, man, why haven't I showed that lately for whatever reason? You know, it's just really busy, so I can't show every animal. And by the way, sometimes people ask, like, I haven't seen such and such for a while. Is it okay? If I don't show it, that typically doesn't mean that anything bad happened. As a matter of fact, usually if something happens, I'm going to share it with you guys. Well, regardless, certainly Flamin' Hot Cheeto looks pretty amazing. And again, it's one of those animals that when kids come in, they really gravitate to it. Bearded dragons are really amazing animals. This has a great personality and look at how absolutely gorgeous it is. Flaming Hot Cheeto is certainly the perfect name for this little monkey. Just checking in with the dynamic duo over here. So Noah, you said you've got a new idea yeah, for a video that you're going right. to do. And what is it again? I, I don't um, understand it. Well, everyone knows the famous childhood story. Who's faster? Who wins? the race, the, the rabbit, tortoise and the, the hare. Yeah, tortoise, tortoise and the hare. hare. Tortoise and the hare. And uh, our buddy Eric over here, he actually owns a couple hares. He has a couple hare? Hares. He has a couple. Of them. I and got a hare or two. <laughs> of course, uh, hares are rabbits, just yes. for the non-hare people and out just there. With that being said, we are going to have Speedy race one of Eric's prime candidates 
How are you going to do that? Dude, I mean, how are we going to do that? I'm not trying to sound, I'm going to sound like a bad pet owner. My rabbits, morbidly obese. Okay, oh my I love gosh, them so what? much. I just feed them and I love them. Wow. Well, Eric, just, you're not supposed to do that. I know, but they're so big. Dang, so they're not going to move is what you're saying. Oh, no. If you got a carrot or something, they'll move. That's how quick. we'll do. We're going to just... Oh, yeah. So so if like you have trail. like lettuce, Speedy's following you, yeah. and then you have a carrot. Let's put some money on it. I mean, if I oh. got the hair, I'm winning. What? Oh. I don't no, think, wait, so. I think so. I've read the book. All right. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Will the tortoise or the rabbit win? And do you think this is a good idea? Uh, it'll be over on Noah's channel, which is really Noah and Eric's channel in a way. Uh, almost to 100K. Uh, he's going to do the Lucy challenge at 100K. Might be doing another challenge before that, but I can't say much about that yet. Lucy? So, uh, okay. Did you really do the Lucy challenge? You stay in there? Maybe. Well, you're saying too. She yeah. can't eat me. He might be able to get you. I got my midsection for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Someone actually brought this into the Reptarium. It just says, make today awesome with the bearded dragon. Lori wanted to, me to get it as a tramp stamp, but instead, <laughs> I'm going to put it up over above my... I'm going to put it up above my office. Hopefully, I can do it straight. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. I don't Tell know. me, Lori, if it's good. Um, I think... Uh, yeah, I guess that looks okay. Make today awesome, everybody! All right, so everyone that walks in my office has to say that before you come through the door. Right, Just I'm say, make today awesome. I'm not going in your make office. Make today awesome, anymore. Lori. <laughs> See, I've got make today awesome, and Lori's got the crab is in. Mine, mine is this one. Free punch in the face, just ask. Yep. That pretty much sums it up, right? What do you think? Yes, that is awesome. I seen that on the table and I'm like, oh, I, I was wondering where you're going to put that. Yeah, it's awesome, huh? That is all. I love the bearded dragon. It's my favorite part. All right, so whenever you walk in to talk to me in my office, the first thing you got to say is make today awesome. Make today awesome. But sir. what if I forget, sir? Sir. And make no today. eye contact. No eye contact. Don't look at me. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wanted to give you guys the update. I am so excited about these. Of course, little baby mangroves. Remember the other day we had one or two of them out? As a matter of fact, look at this little monkey here. It's the one that only has one eye. So weird that one would hatch out like that. But other than that, it looks good and all the rest of them look beautiful. I mean, just take a look at all of these little mangrove snakes. Oh my gosh, they are spectacular. And a lot of them have that really vanishing pattern on the back, which is pretty indicative of the locality of the adults that I have. So really cool. Look at the red bands on this one. And for mangroves, they're pretty nice and big, which would make me think that I should have pretty good success with getting these guys going. Oh my God, I am so excited. We have little baby mangrove snakes again. I love these guys. Let's go ahead and open up the Reptarium for the night. Welcome, welcome guys, welcome, hey. coming in. Hey, how are you? Hey, welcome back, how are you guys? Yeah. Welcome back, how are you, how are you? How's it going, guys? Oh, Hi, welcome, welcome. Hi, Just getting going with the Reptarium and it's already awesome. We got the scaleless joker out over here. Got a little leopard gecko out over here. You like them, bud? It's awesome, good job. We got Helen out over here. January 23rd is... We got Helen out, how do you like her? Isn't she cute? Am I on YouTube now? You are. <laughs> yeah. Here's another interesting species of sambos that I do. These are actually the javelin sambos. And again, they look a little bit like the Kenyans, just with a little bit different color and pattern to them. But they actually remind me a lot of Kenyans, to be totally honest with you. Whereas the rough scales or conicus really don't remind me of Kenyans at all. I mean, they kind of a little bit, but they're much more short, stout animals. Definitely have a little bit more of an attitude. So Kenyans can make really good pets. And hey, listen, rough scales can make good pets too, but they're typically a little bit more bitey, and these guys pack quite a little punch for such a little tiny snake. We brought Daisy out tonight. She's, a, she's always a hit. What a big snake. I mean, you never realize how big she is until you actually get her out and you actually see how far she is. Again, she's almost 18 foot. What an awesome snake. I think someone asked just the other day if I still had drama, the two smiley face piebald ball python. Well, the answer is yes, I still have drama. I don't think I would sell the snake for any amount of money on the planet, to be honest with you. I just think it's such a unique and beautiful snake. Hey, my pet. Hi, 
<laughs> Got Snaz out, basically taking almost everything out tonight. People are really excited, and it's neat because more people are getting to know each of the ambassador animals, which makes it really cool. Because they're like, can we take Snaz out? Can we take Casper out? Can we take Sunrise out? So we're having a really good time. As you can see, definitely a very busy night here at the Riptarium. I just turned the heat up on the northern blue tongue skinks today. That means probably about a week and a half. You're going to get some blue tongue skink breeding vlogs in the near future. And for those of you guys that remember last year, they're a little bit aggressive when it comes to breeding. A little savage, to be honest with you. So I am so excited about this breeding season. We have some beautiful blue tongues up to size. I cannot wait to hopefully produce babies. You may remember my man over here. He came a couple okay. weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, whenever it was. Yeah. And he was really, really afraid. And he ended up holding snakes by the end of the night. You did amazing. Thanks. And uh, now what happened? Well, we, we bought a couple snakes. And, uh, <laughs> can't stop. He has a couple snakes. And he's addicted now. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm no, sorry. No, because your life has now changed forever. <laughs> but I'm so proud of you. Seriously. Thank you. Thank it's good to see you again. Seriously. Yeah. I'm going to check in with Lori real quick. Lori, you know that we are about to head to Italy here pretty soon. Are you excited? Yes, I am getting excited the closer it's getting. I know. Ever since we've been together, Lori has always wanted to go to Italy. And uh, so we are going to be able to go together. Of course, we're going to be at the Milan Reptile Show. I think it's the 20th. I think it's the 20th this month. So if you're in the Italy area or whatever the case is and you want to come meet me, definitely go check that out. Milan, Italy. But in the meantime, we are actually going to be tooling around. We're going to do Rome, Venice, Florence. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys are okay with us maybe doing some kind of travel vlogs. Not all animals. We will do some animal stuff, but but you know, let me know if that's okay with you guys. But what's your most exciting thing about it? Every part of it. I mean, that's literally, it's like number one on my bucket list has been yeah. Italy. So yeah, just going to try to pack in as much as we can. <laughs> I know. In <laughs> typical bar check fashion, we probably will need a vacation when we get back because yes. we're going to be so busy, but it's going to be absolutely cool. So again, Milan, Italy, if you guys are in the area, please come pay us a visit. It's going to be absolutely incredible. As we're winding down at the Reptarium, we probably have about 45 minutes left. There's maybe 10 or 12 people left in here. It was an absolutely crazy night. I don't want to continue just filming the same thing. That's why I didn't film a lot tonight at the Reptarium, but it was absolutely incredible. And it just goes to show you that I want to continue to try to inspire you to follow your dreams because this is kind of one of those feel the dream moments moments like you build it and they will come I mean I didn't know it was gonna be successful and yet it's just been unbelievable again I don't know what the future holds I just know that I cannot thank all of you for all your support watching visiting all the things so you guys are absolutely wonderful and it's been a dream come true and with all of that said I am gonna go ahead and end the vlog and wish you guys an absolutely amazing day evening whenever you happen to be watching it as always your support means the world to me and I truly love you guys so much I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here if you like this video can you like this video please turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video make a comment because I really love reading about you guys be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow